Hey guys, it's Random Xander here, and I'm going to be filming the final part of this collection um, update video. This is episode 3, part 4. Um, and it's going to be the final part. To see parts 1, 2, and 3, click on the links here. And to see the very first and the second um, video, the collection update, click on the links here. And um, basically, it's just going to be the same as all the other so we're just gonna get right into it hope you guys enjoy all the albums um yeah let's go the 22nd album that I ordered since April is um you kisses first album only one and this album I got from kpoptown.com and it has a 30 page photo book the album itself comes with 14 tracks one intro 11 full songs, but 5 original and five and 6 remixes. And it also has 2 instrumentals. All of there in the back. And my favorite song off this album is... What? Or in Korean it's pronounced... Meurago. Meurago. And it is... I believe it's song number, it's either track number two or track number four of this album. And I really, really love this album. I can't lie. And, you know, as for my biases, like I said, they're all my biases. And this album, I recommend for anybody, really. Um, this is actually um, You Kisses. One of you kisses earlier albums with the original members, and the original members were Sushan, Dong Ho, Eli, Kevin, Kisop, Kibam, and Alexander. And the, the last two were former members. They now do their solo stuff, but this is an album with them. It is a great album. You kiss has like a lot of great songs. And they're just great. Even even with the new members, AJ and Hun, they're still great. Um, I just really needed to get this album because I needed an album where it was just with Keepem and Alexander. So I was like, I really needed this. Um, and yeah, I recommend this for anybody. It's such a great album. This is You Kiss's first album, only one. The 23rd album is Vix's first mini album, Hide. And this is part of a two-series album. This I got from Music Korea. It comes with a 62-page photo book, six tracks, five full tracks, and an instrumental to hide. And the album itself also comes with a uh, member booklet, and I got the Ken booklet. It's basically the version of the photo card, and it just has pictures of Ken, and there are the, you can get like another member. And from Music Korea, I got a poster. I got Vix's poster and they all Vix's hide poster. But they also sent me a, a free poster, which is Vix's on and on poster for that single. Um, and my favorite song of this album is Hide. I really, really just love that song. And um, for my biases, my biases are Ravi. Bin and Leo. Those are my biases for um for Vix. As for recommendations, I really recommend this album for anybody. It's a really great album. I mean, it's a bit on the darker side compared to a lot of Vix's past stuff. Um, I really do recommend this album. Um, it's a really really great album to have. All the songs are great, and Vix is really such a great group, and their popularity has really increased in a short amount of time since their debut. But yeah, this is Vix's first mini album, Hide. The 24th album that I ordered is 2PM's third album, Grown, but this is in version B, and this I got from Music Korea. And the difference is, um, of version compared to version A is the design of the album and the photo book. The photo book for version B is a bit more kind of 
very, very, very short list. Um, compared to com compared to version A, even the poster is different. Um, but this album also the difference is the album comes with the last three members' names on it. So that's one of the difference. And this album comes with a 51-page photo book with 12 tracks. And then the second track of um, a version A, obviously. And when I also when I ordered this album, it came with two photos. Uh, I can't remember the names of the of the photos of which albums it came from. And it also came with two posters. The um, poster that I ordered was Nikoons, and it's just god damn. Um, you guys will see that in the poster collection. Um, it also came with the. Still 2 p.m. poster, I believe. I think that was the um, preview poster I came with. As for my current song, as I said in the um, in the in part three, the third song of this album is Hanipun or A D A D T O Y All Day I Think of You. And again, for my biases, my biases are Jun K and Taekyun. As for recommendations, I do recommend this for anybody, really. Um, and it's basically the same thing as I said. I recommend this for every for anybody. Um, it's a great album. All songs are great. Um, and this is for mainly like the fans who like a lot of shirtless K-pop idols. If you're a big 2PM fan, I either recommend getting both version A or version B or getting the Grand Edition which comes with the CD to Grown and their solo songs. But that's really only for the big 2PM fans because it is such a pricey album. But yeah, this is 2PM's third album Grown version 2. Well, it's not version 2, it's version B. The 25th album that I ordered is Kim Hong Jun's first mini album, My Girl. And this is an older album. This came out like in 2011. It's not really that old. But it's um, 2011. It comes with a 30 page photo book. And it's very similar packaging to um, Yukis's Dora Dora. You have the CD on one side, photo book on the other. Um, the album comes with seven tracks, one intro, four full tracks, and six instrumentals. And this song came with a poster. It came with the poster. And, um, basically the same thing as the cover of the album. And it also came with a photo, and the photo is not of Kim Hyung Jun by himself, it's part of is with him and the rest of SS501, which is the group that he that he debuted with, and sadly they are separated on their own solo path. And he's also the older brother to Kim Kibom from Yukis. And um, my favorite song of this album is Ooh Ah. I just really love that song a lot. And um, I recommend this album for really anybody also. It's really such a great album. He, I believe he produced all the songs off of this. Um, it's a good album to get. Um, I really recommend it. And especially if you love SS501, just to get Kim Hyung Jun, because this is actually a hard album to get. So um, I really recommend like, looking for this. Um, so yeah, this is Kim Hyung Jun. First, my name. First mini album, My Girl. The 26th album that I ordered is XOK's XOXO first album. This is the Kiss version. Um, and I got this from KpopTown.com. The difference between the Kiss and Hug version is the um, how they write XO is different. This is a form of a heart. The sticker is also different. And like the lettering is right here in the hug version, it's red, but here it's blue. Also, I believe the back is different. Also, 
And even like a few of the pictures in the album, they're, they're different. For the photo book, this comes with a 60 page photo book. And it comes with 12 full tracks. And, and there's one song that's repeated, uh, Wolf. Wolf. There's the Wolf and Wolf XLK version and the Chinese version. For some of the extra stuff I got from this album, I got a Chen photo card and the irony is Chen is from XLM and came with XLK. I also got a pair of towel socks and that was part of the special gift that you get for ordering the album. I also got two posters, the KISS version and the commune poster with the album. And um, my first song of this album is Let Out The Beast. I just love it so much, especially the Korean version. And like I said in the ground music video, um, some of the songs are actually better in Korean and some of the songs are better in Chinese. And you just really gotta listen to it because you can really tell which songs are better in Chinese or in Korean. Uh, for my biases in XOK, they're Sehun and Kai. I don't know. Mainly, my biases usually tend to be towards um, the dancers or rappers of a group. But yeah, so those are my biases. And I recommend this album for anybody. It's a really good album. EXO, EXO really doesn't disappoint with the song. Um, I just really, really love this album a lot. I really do recommend it. They do a different styles. They do like do a few um, um what's the, a few ballads, a few like more pop-ish songs. So I really do recommend um, checking out this album and getting it. Um, plus, it's a really creative album. It's so decorative and it's in a yearbook format. So yeah, I really do recommend getting this. This is XOK's XOXL, the KISS version. The 27th album that I ordered is XOM's um, XOXL. This is the hug version. And I got this again from kpoptown.com. And how I got this is from the set version. It's basically you get the two um, albums, three posters, two pairs of special socks if you happen to have pre-ordered it though. And you could actually see the differences. Um, differences is in the design. As in the KISS version it comes in a heart, but in the hug version it comes in a circle. So the thing is supposed to stand for like the XOXO. And also you can see the sticker is different. This one has a girl compared to um, the KISS version which has a wolf also the lettering this is in red as in the KISS is in blue and the same thing this album comes with a 60 page photo book 12 tracks the only one that's repeated is wolf you have wolf then you have XLM version and the Korean version and as for the stuff I got from this album I got a Chan Yul photo card which the irony is I get an XOK member in an XOM album. I also got a pair of Chris socks with the album. I also got the hot poster for XOM. Um, and my favorite song of this album is um, Baby Don't Cry. Um, I really like this song, especially in Chinese. I feel like it's much more better. Um, and for my biases in um, XOM is Shumin and Luhan. Those are my biases. And like I said, for XOK's Kiss version, I recommend this album for anybody. It is such a great album. Especially for the Chinese fans. Check, get this album especially. But if you're a big XO fan, I recommend getting both albums because. Each song sounds different in Chinese and Korean, and sometimes they sound better either in Chinese or Korean. So I really recommend checking them out, so checking the album out and getting it. It's a really great album. And this is XOM, XOXO Hug version, and it's their first album. 28th and final album for this collection update that I got is 
TR's fifth mini album, Funky Town. And this, I got this album from um, uh, KpopTown.com. And, and this is actually the repackaged version. Um, the original version is their Black Eyes album. And the difference is the design of the album. The design of the album goes with um, the Cry Cry music video for Black Eyes. Um, and the packaging is also different. The packaging for Black Eyes is more horizontal, but for Funky Town is more vertical. And the number of songs is also different. They put three new songs, well technically two new songs and a remix version of one, on this album. And this album comes with a 42 page photo book. And the photo book of the album is also different. Um, in Black Eyes, it's basically it corresponds to their Cry Cry music video concept. Um, but for Funky Town, it, the concept is of Lovey Dovey. And this album comes with eight tracks. Um, it comes with three new tracks, which is Lovey Dovey, We Were in Love, and Lovey Dovey, the club remix version. But all together, it's eight full tracks. My favorite song off Lovey Dove off Fucking Town is track number two, We Were in Love. Um, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it in Korean though, but that's my favorite song. And as for my biases, my biases are, are Jion and Unjung. Those are my biases, and the reason why they're actually my biases is because I fell in love with them in Dream High and Dream High 2. But anyway, I recommend this album for anybody because I really I recommend this album for anybody really. It has a mixture of songs, ballads, and a pop and pop songs on it. And it's a really good song. It's a really great album, I mean, with a lot of really great songs. So I really do recommend it for anybody. And um, for BTR fans, I really do recommend getting um, both versions, Black Eyes and Funky Town, just because like the concept designs are different. Um, but for regular TR fans, I would actually recommend getting Funky Town because it comes with those three extra songs. But for but you can get the, also get Black Eyes. I just recommend for big TR fans to get both, really. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is TR's fifth mini, al fifth mini album, Funky Town. And I just love the look of this. So that's it for this collection video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also, be on the lookout for the photo card and poster collection of update video um, and also keep on lookout I'm doing vlogs now they might not be and they might not they're not gonna be really um, anything special <clears throat> about these vlogs really I'm, it's just a way for you guys to know just get to know me a bit more and I also I plan on filming like an actual intro to this to my channel I filmed an intro before but it's not what I really, it's not what I thought I was going to end up doing on my channel. So I'm going to film a new intro video. And also I want to film a 50 facts. So you guys get to know me more on a personal level. And um, so yeah, that's it for this collection video. See you guys soon. Bye.